Hey everyone, welcome to BK Cards. In today's video, I'll be ripping open every retail option for the new Topps Heritage 2024 baseball. Um, the different products are the Giant Box, which I picked up at Target for $50, the Blaster Box, which I also picked up at Target for $25, the hanger, which was $12, and then the uh, fat pack, value pack, um, which was, I believe, $7 or $8. So um, I did a similar video for the Top Series 1 um, 2024, so be sure to check out that video. I do, in all my videos, um, give away the top hit. Um, all you have to do is to enter is uh, be a subscriber to the channel. Be sure to hit that notification button too as well so you get notified when I release a video. Um, like this video and then comment which card you want to receive. And then the following baseball video, I will pick a winner. Which brings me to this Bryce Harper home field advantage. Um, this was the most, by, by far, the most popular card pick from my previous baseball video, which I did a blaster box battle between 2024 and 2023 top series one. So I will be giving this one away. So with that, I will go ahead and pick a winner. So I've got the video lined up. I've got duplicated uh, users filtered out. So only one entry per user. And the winner is D Nick 70, that Bryce Harper. So congratulations, D Nick 70. You have won this Bryce Harper home field advantage. A really, really nice looking card. So congrats. Um, thanks for watching the channel. And with that, I'll go ahead and, and get to ripping. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to do another one of these all encompassing uh, retail review. Um, I did it for top series one and it was actually my most viewed video. So um, hoping that this one's just as, as successful. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and get started. I'll start with the um, fat pack and work my way up to the most valuable or most costly uh, product. So with that, I'll get to ripping. So um, Heritage is a pretty cool product. It's got the old school vibe to it. So kind of, it's what the cards look like. Um, they do have some, um, I guess, variations in short print. So right off the back, we get a one of the top rookies, Sal Freelick. Um, so they have image variations and uh, they'll tell you um, right here with the number if it's like image or nickname. So got some very like subtle um, kind of short prints. So just be on the lookout for those. Um, you can always check on the back. So um, I won't check on the back of all these, um, but after the video, I'll be sure to, to check all of them. Um, but yeah, like... It's a fun product. I definitely like the old school vibe to it. And right there, we hit a rookie white border. So um, not sure the odds of this white border, but it is definitely a, uh, I guess, more rare card. So uh, Orioles rookie, Heston Kirkstad on the, oh, and it tells you right there, white border. So it, it tells you that the type. So, um, yeah, so we get a Yordan. I think that's just a base. So it seems like World Series card for you Rangers fans. Um, Aaron Judge and Sandy Alcantara. So it seems like that main hit was this uh, white border. Uh, I'll definitely include the odds to that. So um, yeah, the, off to a good start, I would say. So uh, a rookie uh, short print is always nice. So uh, for seven, eight dollars, uh, can't go wrong there. So 
yeah, so we'll rip open the hanger. Um, yeah, the short, short print base cards found in one in three packs. Um, they have chrome base cards numbered to 999 nicknames. So, um, yeah, so definitely a, a fun product. Um, sure, where to open this? kind of ripping it open but let's see if the hanger gets us any luck um, I believe the hobby box costs around 90 to 100 bucks um, I'm not sure exactly um, what your guarantee odds for the the hobby is so but, um, but yeah, maybe something I'll, I'll look into. Uh, Mason Wynn, I know he's off to a hot start for the Cardinals. Nice rookie there. Eflin, Jordan Hicks. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments. Uh, do you like Heritage Baseball? I guess this one, NL All-Star shortstop. Maybe that's not. Um, let me know in the comments, guys, if, if you like Heritage Baseball. Is it one of your favorite products to rip? Um, is it something you skip? Um, I know the next release will be um, Bowman. I know also Topps Chrome Black got released. That is a hobby exclusive, about 150, 160. Um, I believe you only get four cards, one auto, one parallel, and um, two base. So definitely steep for the number of cards you get, but uh, definitely could be a fun rip. So just going through the base cards. Eric Weaver, Devers, Bone. Woodruff, so we get another Heston Kirkstad, Alec Burleson, Marcana, Robbie Grossman, Jason Dillay, Mitch Keller, and we do get a Shohei Otani, New Age Performers. Um, not sure how rare that is. And I'm not sure exactly if I, I pulled any of the short print cards, but I'll, I'll definitely um, go back through that and let you guys know. But that'll do it for the hanger. So um, maybe I did hit one of those like image variation ones. It's just kind of hard to tell. Um, so that's just part of, I guess, heritage and uh, the way they design their cards. But here's the blaster. Um, I don't know if there's a blaster exclusive, but you get, yeah, eight packs, nine cards per pack. So, yeah, let's see if the blaster gets us any more luck. Um, I know... The chrome cards that are numbered, those are some really cool looking cards. So definitely hopeful to pull one of those numbered chrome cards. Um, really of anyone, maybe the top rookies. Um, Ellie De La Cruz is the top rookie of this class so far or the most sought after. So um, definitely uh, if you hit him, it's always a, a nice hit we do get this then and now insert nice looking card there and then a hunter goodman rookie but yeah ellie is off to a hot start i believe he has five home runs so far um I know Jason Dominguez is another sought-after rookie. He's going to be out injured 
throughout the first part of the season. We do hit three straight, I guess, of these inserts. So most valuable player inserts. Then we get a Cattell Marte. And I'm not sure why this one was backwards. But doesn't have anything back here to indicate the variation. So not sure what's going on there, but yeah, I'll definitely look at all these base cards, double check. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, Jason Dominguez hurt um, beginning of the season. Um, also have Evan Carter, another top rookie. Off to a slow start, but it's been turning it around. So um, he's another rookie to kind of keep an eye out on. Another most valuable players, Michael Conforto. So said, I, I believe one in every three packs is one of those variations. So um, maybe I'm missing some. It's just not sure how I can spot them easily unless I'm looking at the back of them, every single one. So um, yeah, but we do hit a chrome so I believe this one's numbered we get a guardians of Jose Ramirez so it's number two 375 so a really nice hit there of Jose Ramirez third baseman for the Cleveland Guardians so nice looking card there one of the top switch hitting third baseman in the league. So I'll include the odds for this pull and also estimated value. But yeah, that, that's a really sweet looking card. And then behind Jose Ramirez was this Julio Rodriguez. Um, I guess it's insert. So... Um, not sure how rare this is. Might be just a basic insert, but nice looking card. I'll add it to the back for display. And then behind Julio was a Bryce Harper New Age Performers insert and a rookie. So yeah, the uh, believe. We're halfway through the blaster. We do hit the Jose Ramirez um, numbered chrome card. A really, really nice looking card. Um, it's cool that they uh, also have them numbered as well. So um, definitely, I believe the blaster is winning. Um, maybe the, the white border is a more rare card than I thought, but... We'll see. We get 23 highlights, Kershaw and Ryan Mountcastle. But yeah, um, definitely looking forward to ripping some more baseball products. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what kind of uh, retail options Bowman will have um, in the coming months. I know they have their hobby um options of i think regular hobby and jumbo hobby but um yeah if they have any retail version i'll definitely pick that up so um excited for that and we do hit, hit a uh i believe it's the 1975 zoo who sticker um flying squirrel so I believe this is like a nickname card. I don't know how rare it is. Could be fairly rare, but um, Jeff McNeil is the flying squirrel. That's his nickname. So uh, for the New York Mets. So it's a <laughs> actual picture of a flying squirrel. So uh, cool little unique card there. Uh, I'll include the odds for that too. But uh, but yeah, it's fun. 
fun product to rip. Um, yeah, I mean, between this and Big League Baseball, I mean, you have tons of variety of kind of types of products you can purchase. So um, I feel like Topps does a good job of uh, kind of mixing it up with the different types of cards. So I like to see it. Um, I know some people might not be a, a fan of the designs, but... We hit a news flashback of Chrysler. So <laughs> you get stuff like that, which is cool. Um, and then David Schneider pulled his auto out of a top series one jumbo hobby box. But yeah, last pack. Let's see if we have any last pack magic. Hopefully we can pull maybe an auto, another Chrome numbered card. But um, after hitting that chrome numbered card, I don't expect too much out of this, but we'll see. And we do hit a all white border of Jared Trio. So another uh, white border short print, uh, definitely in include the odds for this, but uh, Replace Julio over here. But behind him was Gunnar Henderson, Tops All Rookie Team. A cool card there. And then World Series Game 3 card. So it's cool inserts here. If, if you're a Rangers fan, collect all those kind of World Series inserts. But yeah, let's rip into this. I guess I call it Mega Box. I, I believe what online they called it a, a giant box, but um, you do have exclusive cards here. You get three exclusive red bordered base cards. Um, and I guess that is really the exclusive for this uh, giant box. But you get, yeah, 17 packs, nine cards per pack. I'll try to go through this fairly quickly and maybe just try to hit on the, the obvious short prints, but I got one pack stuck back there, but gets a ripping so I'll go through these fairly quickly unless I hit something I kind of stand out but tons of tons of base cards um, definitely something you could possibly complete the entire set of um, if that's something you you do but uh, yeah it's been a fun rip so far. Um, I've only pulled the one numbered card, the two white bordered, and then the animal kind of nickname card. So I guess those are some of the bigger hits. Um, maybe I, I pulled a couple other kind of image variation cards, color variation, nicknames. I haven't paid super close attention to the, the names, so. Definitely could have hit some more cards here, but, um, but yeah. Let me know, guys. How's your favorite MLB team doing? Um, are they off to a good start? Or are they kind of concerning, like my Astros? Um, I know the Astros uh, bullpen, which felt like was supposed to be a strength of the team is a weakness so far and then also Jose Abreu our first baseman has been off to a slow start been pretty disappointing but hopefully he can turn it around Dugo is that Grinky but yeah, I, I'm curious on why some of these 
cards have like, they're flipped over. So I don't know if that card prior indicates that it is a short print or something. Um, but I might, if I get one of those, I might flip it over to see, just to, to check. Got back-to-back -back Astros, the first card. So, yeah, I'm not sure why these ones are turned over, but, uh, but yeah, I don't think we've hit any Ellie's. Uh, you know, I've been going through this giant box fairly quickly, but I believe we haven't. Um, also, maybe we've hit the red border. Um, not too sure about that either, but um, definitely we'll, I've got them in a separate stack, so I'll, I'll go through them again but they do have the three exclusive red border. So I know some of these cards, they've got the two tone colored. So maybe it's pretty obvious when you hit a completely red bordered one, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, if you haven't checked out my last video, I did hit that Bryce Harper that I gave away um, in the last pack. So. Maybe we've got an auto, something nice kind of hiding there. Um, I've also seen online that some people pull an auto and don't realize that they pulled an auto because the cards are designed to have kind of the, I guess the fake signature um, there. So I'll definitely be looking that over as well. But uh But yeah, I don't think we've hit the, the red bordered card, um, which, yeah, it said three, three per box. So maybe I did, I've been going through this last box fairly quickly. Um, Mason Wynn, Soto, Raphael Devers, Trent Grisham. So I've got six more packs to go. So let's see if we get another numbered Chrome card. It's kind of what I'm I'm hoping. We do get a, a white bordered of Lars Newt Bar. I'll just put him on top of this one. Oh, and didn't even realize when I was doing that, uh, we do pull a Brian Reynolds game use memorabilia card. So nice hit there. Hitting the mem. So we'll sleeve him up. I don't think it's numbered, but yeah, that's a nice hit there. I'll put replace Shohei. But yeah, I, I didn't even realize he was hiding back there. I, I was putting away the, the white bordered. But uh, but yeah, nice nice memorabilia card there. So um, definitely seems like the giant box or blaster box could be the way to go for this. and Brian Reynolds. And that's strange, cause like this one right here, it says white border, but maybe these are the, the red border parallels. Uh, might have to double check that, but you can see it says white border there, so. Not sure what's going on there, but uh, that's something I'll, I'll check for all the cards. And also when I make my edits, I'll, I'll kind of add and, and point it out too. 
we get a, a baby bull. <laughs> um, not sure who that is. We'll flip it over to see. Oh, Orlando Cepeda. So uh, a legend of the zoo card. So Orlando Cepeda. So we'll put him next to the flying squirrel card. And got Spencer Strider and a couple more base cards. So three more packs to go. Um, yeah, overall, I mean, I think I'd, I'd, if I had the money, I would probably lean towards getting top series one. Um, maybe get a value pack, a hanger, if you don't want to spend as much money. Um, or maybe a blaster and get the, uh, possibly get the, the Chrome card. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was a fun rip and it is a fun rip, but I don't know, just the variation. It, it's just, I guess, preference, but, um, maybe I, I got something, maybe a, an auto here. I've got, this is the second to last pack. So we'll, we'll see, uh. Bader, Freeling. So, one more pack to go. Hopefully we get some last pack magic. Get a, a Chrome numbered card. Let's see. Not sure if I saw anything shiny, but. Max Meyer, Errol Weaver, Raphael Devers. George Brett, insert Juan Soto. So we do hit the two new um, big free agent sightings of Soto and uh, Otani. So it's a nice hit there. The last card is a Taj Bradley. So a uh, quick recap, uh, overview of everything. We did hit three white borders, um, two rookies, one... Um, veteran so those were the white bordered cards um definitely i think the top two hits were the jose ramirez and i i, I would say this was the top hit the jose ramirez chrome card number two 375 also pulled the and this was out of the blaster also the brian reynolds um bat memorabilia card out of the giant box mega box um and then we got these two um zoo uh inserts of flying squirrel of jeff mcneil and baby bull of uh hall of famer orlando cepeda so that'll do it for today's video um all these video all these cards are eligible for my giveaway um like i said before, all you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment which card you want to receive, and be sure to hit that notify button when you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates. Um, and then the following baseball video, I will pick a winner. So with that, I want to thank everyone for watching, and I will see you next time.